Assalamu alaikum students. I hope you all are fine at your home. Now students, as you know that we have already started unit number 5 and we have completed the lazy frog. In the lazy frog students, we have seen that there is a one frog whose name is Fred who is very lazy. Even he don't want to do anything for himself as well as he is not listening his mother also. When he's not respecting ladies also and in front of them he is sleeping very well. Yes, that we have seen there. Now this is a lesson Reap Van Winkle. In this lesson students, we will see that how this Reap Van Winkle, you know students, this is the name of person, Reap Van Winkle, this person. So how this person Reap Van Winkle doing work. So he is known as lazy. Now this man is also lazy but actually he is not like Fred. He is not like a frog Fred. Because this man Reap who is not doing work for himself but he was a very helpful person for others. So that we will see in this lesson. So look at first of all this. The story is about Reap Van Winkle, a good natured but lazy man. Who goes away into the hills and falls asleep. When he awakens 20 years later, he finds that quite a few things have changed. So, this is story of a man, Reeve Van Winkle, who is a very good behaved person. Means his behavior is very good. Everybody likes his behavior. But he's a lazy man. He don't want to do anything like this, like that frog so one day what he has done he went to the hills and there he falls to sleep and when he awakens after 20 years later he found that everything was changed now let's see the lesson it's really interesting lesson students so everybody you also open your textbook and look at page number 82 Many years ago, at the foothills of the Catskill Mountains was a little village. In the village lived a simple, good-natured fellow named Rip Van Winkle. He was a kind neighbor, ready to help anyone. Everyone in the village liked him. The children of the village shouted with joy whenever they saw him because he played with them. He taught them to fly kites and shoot marbles and told them long stories. So this is a story which has happened a long time before that a long time before there is a one mountain which name is Catskill. On the below of this mountain there is a one small village. In this village this Reeve Van Binkel living who is living very simple life, who is a very good behaved person and he is a very kind neighbor. Neighbor means who is living beside you. Who always ready to help everyone. And that's why, you know, if you help any, anyone, if you help everyone, so everybody like you. So here also, everybody like this person because who always he is always ready to help everyone. Even the children of this village also shouting when they are watching this man with a joy, with a happy mood. Means they become very happy when they are watching this man Reef and Winkle. Why? Because this Reef and Winkle who played with them, even he taught the children how to fly kites, how to shoot marbles. And he was telling long story also to these children. As you can see on the next page, page number 83 in your textbook. How children are uh, giving smile to this man. Now let's see the next paragraph. The only problem with Reeb was that he was very lazy. He did no work on his own farm and just idled away his time. His fancies were falling to pieces. His car was going astray. Which grew on his farm. Rip's constant companion was his dog named Wolf. To avoid work, 
he would walk away into the forest with his dog. Now what's written here? That he was a lazy person. What's the problem with Rip Van Winkle? That he's a lazy. He don't want to do anything. He just want to sit lazily. Even he's not going to his own farm also. Means he don't want to do any work. He don't want to do anything at home at farm. And he's just spending time very lazily. His fences were falling to pieces. Now, you know students, what is fences? Fences means like a barrier, railing, you know, which we are doing near houses or near a garden, which is surrounding the garden or houses, like enclosing an area of a ground or home to prevent or control excess or escape. Yes, it's known as fences. So, this fences also falling into pieces. And it might be made of wire also, wood also, anything. Yes? His cow was going astray. Means the cows also went away somewhere else. But he's not searching also. Which grew on his farm. Which means you can say that uh, useless plants. No use of that plants. No values of that plants. Means you know it's grown up in a uh, monsoon season also everywhere which is not useful. So this type of plants also grown up on his farm, but he's not worried about anything. Rip's constant companion, constant means who's continuous with him, companion. Companion means, uh, you can say is a person also or animal also, who's spending a lot of time with a person in a travel or anywhere. So here, who is the constant companion? Who is continuously walking and living and uh, going everywhere with the Rip and Winkle? With a dog and the dog name is Wolf. So the dog is his constant companion. To avoid work, he would walk away into the forest with his dog. And he don't want to do work. That's why what he's doing? He's just going to the forest with a dog. Means he just want to do time pass. He's playing with children. He's helping villagers. But he don't want to do any work for his own self, for his family. So what he's doing? He's just going to the forest with his dog wolf. Now let's see what happened in the third paragraph. One day, Rip just walked on and on. And reached the highest part of the mountains. As we have seen in the first paragraph only students. That the village is located below the Catskill mountains. Yes. So one day what he has done. He just walked and walked only. Without thinking anything. He just walking and walking. So what happened? He reached the highest part of the mountains. Means a top of the mountains. He reached the top of the mountains. Because he just walking and walking. It was late in the afternoon when he reached there. Means might be he started from the morning only because he don't want to do anything. So when he went there, it's become a late afternoon. When he went there, means it might be the 12 or 1 o'clock, right? Tired after his long climb, he lay down and began daydreaming. Means he definitely he walked very much. So what happened? He feeling tiredness. He become tired. And after he started to daydreaming. Means he want to take a rest there. Daydreaming means might be he's taking a rest there. Means he just want to lying there on the ground and want to sleep there. It was soon evening and he realized it would be night by the time he reached his village. Now, it's a late afternoon he reached there. So now it's a time. It means it's very near to evening time. And that time he was realized that, he was thinking that it will take a night. It means the night will happen if he started to walking to go to his village. Look okay, at students, this uh, picture which is already in a textbook, page number 83. This Reap and Winkle, look at, he's carrying some things with him. The children are very happy to see him. Well, look at this dog. 
was a constant companion of this man wolf now students let's see on the next page turn your page and look at page number 84 suddenly he heard a voice calling out rip van winkle rip van winkle he looked around and saw a short old man with a thick hair and a grizzled beard walking towards him with a barrel now what happened suddenly students that he was on the top of the mountain but there also he has listened his own name voice that someone is continuously calling him rip van winkle rip van winkle means someone is calling his name there when he looked around when he just watching everywhere who is calling him that time he saw a short old man with a thick hair and a grizzled beard walking towards him with a barrel now look at here students this man who was calling this rip van winkle who has having grizzled beard grizzled beard means actually grizzled beard is known for the uh, gray hair gray hair or gray beard but look at here they have a different different color beards yes look at yellow red green so they are having a grizzled beard and they are walking with a barrel barrel means this drum something is there inside this drum so this barrel with they are walking this short man and old man they are short also and they are old also look at from the faces we can understand that they are old person now let's see after what happened he made signs to help him carry the barrel now as this is the nature of rip and winkle that who always loves to all uh, loves to help people so here also he is making some sign means he want to say them that he was ready to help them because why he is feeling like this that rip hurried to help the stranger who caught his hand tightly together they reached a place where there were some more odd looking men playing nine pins now what happened actually rip was thinking that they are getting difficulty to carry this barrel because they are already short persons so that's why he want to help them and rip hurried to help the stranger hurried means he was a uh, very he was immediately went there and he was very excited to help them stranger means he don't know who is that person who that people who those people rip and winkle don't know anything but then also he was ready to help the stranger who caught his hand tightly together they reached a place where there were some more all looking men but actually what's the intention of rip and winkle to help this man what this man has done this man has tightly caught his hand bahut zor se rip and winkle ka haath pakad liya tightly caught his hand together they reached a place where there were some more all looking men because because of this rip and winkle also reached with them because they have caught his hand and where when they reached there rip and winkle had seen another people also the same looking odd looking means the same short height age they are also having grizzled beard and old man playing nine pins and what they are doing what they all are doing they are playing nine pins it's a game which they are playing they were all dressed to the same way and all of them had birds of various shapes and colors yes they have all have weird same dress but they are having different colors and different shapes bird even though they were playing a game their faces were serious and there was silence you know students when we are playing in the ground in the garden what we are doing especially you when you are playing in the gardens in the grounds of schools even near your homes what we are doing 
you are shouting very much yes you are calling your friends also you are laughing also then sometimes in an angry tone also you are talking with your friends why playing games but here these people are playing game nine pins but their faces are very serious means they are not smiling also they are not speaking also anything they are not calling anyone and there was silence it, it's continuously silence nobody is speaking anything it's completely different than us yes when when we are playing what we are doing we are shouting also we are laughing also we are talking also we are uh, teasing also our friends yes but here they are completely silent they are not uttering any single word the only sound was the noise of the balls which echoed in the mountains like thunder and only one sound is coming which is the ball sound because they are playing nine pins so here only ball sound is coming and in a mountain nobody is living yes on the mountain nobody is living that's why what happened the echo sound means the same sound is coming back when uh, for example that there is a empty room is there where nobody is there when you started speaking or you can say empty home is there so there if you are shouting so what happened the more uh, voices coming there the back voices coming there so here the echo sound is coming from the mountain and it's look like the thunder the ball sound is looking like a thunder now students here we'll stop in the next video we'll continue with this and we complete the lesson till that if you have difficulty you can write in the comment box or you can write in the live classes okay students take care everybody assalamu alaikum and have a wonderful day ahead